Hey guys, just wanted to show you this um, <clears throat> 229 I just made for a guy. Uh, this is a 229 with a Streamlight TLR1 on it. And as you can see, it was made with a blue gun. And as time goes on, uh, I'm starting to learn how to block these out better and better. So it almost looks like a ready mold uh, holster, which in other words, it has uh, real straight, clean lines, no warpage, no waves anywhere. Uh, this this was made with a, um, a ready mold, and you can see how straight the lines are, and there's no waves, uh, there's no waves on the uh, sight channel. That's I'm a real stickler about that. Uh, when I see a holster with waves in the sight channel, to me it looks so amateur. It's I won't, I just won't send it out. Same with this sight channel. So as time goes on, um, I'm going to start putting more and more available holsters to make. Because I have blue guns for a lot of guns. I don't have ready molds for a lot of guns. Uh, like I said, the ready molds are faster. They look better. They fit perfect. But if you put enough time in the preparation of a blue gun, which sucks because it takes more time. It, it adds like 25 minutes to the build. You know what I mean? By the time you're done putting all the shit on the damn gun, getting it ready to, to mold it, uh, it, it does take more time and uh, that's the only thing that sucks but sooner or later they'll have ready molds for every gun I guess you know there's there's a there's some ready molds that I can't believe they don't have like a Glock 21 um, Glock 30 uh, real I mean they have a, a ready mold for a G2C but not a Glock 30 you know how many people carry Glock 30s a ton a ton of people and what's cool about the Glock 30 is it covers the Glock 29 too so if you have a mold for the 30 you have a mold for the 29 same with the 21 you have a mold for the 20 the 21 and the 20 is the same gun the 20 is a 10 millimeter the 21 is 45 ACP right the 30 is a 45 ACP the 29 is a 10 millimeter but they're the same slide frame fit dimensions everything so hopefully uh, a light will go on in somebody's head and say uh we need to make glock 45 ready molds because they don't but they have the taurus g2c i don't get that i know it's a popular gun i know it's real affordable and they run really well they do but come on man but anyway, I'm trying to think. Oh, I do have the P365XL in a ready mold now. So that is now on the website. The P365XL 9mm from 6 Sour. Um, I just got a 6 Sour blue gun for the SIG uh, 1911. TAC Ops. Or... SIG 1911 with a rail, same thing. So that's good. Don't have a ready mold for it, kind of sucks, but I can still make holsters for it. So the bottom line is I wanted to show you um, this holster. This was not this was not made with a ready mold. Okay, this was made with a blue gun. And usually, most of the time, blue gun holsters that are packed with tape and wood and spacers and whatever you got to do to, to, to get, make the gun fit the wave in here this will be wavy um they just don't look as good they do not look as good the definition isn't as good but what i've been doing is i said you know what instead of using wood why don't i use something that's less flexible because that's where you get the warpage when the uh, suction comes down on the on the mold it flexes and that causes warp well i use now instead of using popsicle sticks and wood and all that i use i use uh flat bar uh aluminum so this way uh when you're bridging across the trigger guard you don't see that bow from the uh the squeeze from the uh the vacuum press back there 
and especially when you're using the foam press, even more so, uh, you need it because that really crushes everything on the gun when you're uh, trying to make a holster. So there it is, a SIG P229 with a, a TLR1 Streamlight. There it is. Nice fit. There's your adjustable tension screw. It's got a nice clean look, polished all around the edges. This uh, particular guy wanted uh, 1.75 belt loops. I do not have two inch belt loops. I have 1.5 to 1.75 as of now. Uh, uh, I guess I can get two inch. So, some people that have like these big duty belts need two inch belt loops, but these holsters are not for duty. These are for off duty. These are off duty holsters. These are not level three holsters like you know, they're not, that's not what they are. So uh, if you're gonna get one of these kind of holsters, uh, just make sure your belt is 1.75 or smaller and you'll be fine, you, you know. So I just wanted to show you that. This one came out really nice and uh, the fit's great. There's no rubbing on, on the slide at all. all. All the tension is around the bottom of the light. And that is the P229 outside the waistband right hand with 1.75 loops. Not to get political, but if you see what's going on with the riots and all that stuff, don't ever, ever let someone tell you you don't need a gun. You make that decision for yourself. Because there's a lot of people right now that really, that never had a gun, that lives in those cities, are praying to God. They wish they wish they had one right now i don't know how they're dealing with it i don't know how unarmed people are living there right now and dealing with that i sleep like a baby you know my house is well protected and uh i never sleep like a baby but you know what i mean i don't worry about it too much when, and we're not too far from the city where we're at. I'm only 15 minutes, maybe 20 tops. So it, it is an area to be a little concerned about. You never know. It could spread out this far. But uh, as, far, as far as Philadelphia goes, I don't, I don't think anything's too crazy yet anyway. Uh, hopefully the president will come out and, and say something uh, about what's going on. Uh, not like uh, what the, our previous president did when these riots were going on. He just didn't say anything. He just stayed out of sight. So I don't think Trump will do that. But anyway, I just wanted to run that by you. Uh, a lot of people right now that were against guns wish they had them. And this is what we're talking about, the Second Amendment. This is what the Second Amendment's all about. It's about overwhelmingly uncontrollable situations. And when you have situations like that, the police can't help you, bud. The police can't help you. And you know me, guys, I make posters for the police and I'm a, a supporter. And they'll even tell you, there's just not enough of them. Okay? So sometimes you got to defend yourself. And you need to take, if you never uh, owned a gun, you need to take a class, train, and get one. It's my advice to you. But anyway, uh, you'll be seeing this bad boy on the website. It's available. I'll put the links below. Uh, I want to thank the Patreons for helping me out uh, with the channel because, you know, YouTube don't give you squat anymore. And it's, you know, making holsters and making time to make videos. It's, you know, especially when I'm, you're fat and lazy like myself. I don't like moving around too much. So for me, it's a lot of work. So, all right, guys, have a good one and see you later. Yep. Clicky, my remote. Goodbye.